Kelly from the Fat Quarter Shop, and we have a brand new shortcut quilt called the Jelly Roll Railway Quilt. And if you love jelly rolls, make this your next quilt stop. All you need is one moated jelly roll, a background fabric, and an accent fabric. Visit fatquartershop.com, go to our free pattern page, and download this free pattern, and let's get started. Your first step is to take 24 jelly roll strips to use in your quilt. So what I like to do when making something like this is I'll just go through and find my favorite prints. Your first step is to take four different jelly roll strips, sew them together with a quarter inch seam, and just press to one side. Then because we have a really light background in the quilt, I'm gonna use a light Arafil thread. I'm using 50 weight color 2311. So that's your first step. You're gonna make six of these. Then what we're gonna do is you're going to cut eight four and a half inch wide rectangles. So, I'm gonna use a Creative Grids ruler. I'm gonna line up the lines on my ruler with the lines on my strip set. Trim one end off. Since I have a four and a half inch wide ruler, you're just gonna keep cutting. You're gonna cut eight from each strip set to make a total of 48. And as I'm cutting, I'm just keeping the left aligned and also this aligned. When I get to the center, you can see it's kind of getting off. So I'm gonna recut a clean strip, flip it around, and recut. And that's what I love about making jelly roll quilts is you can just realign all the time doesn't have to be perfect. You can sew really fast, but when you're cutting, if you cut accurate and just kind of keep everything straight, it's gonna turn out beautifully. Now you're gonna take your fabric B squares and your fabric C squares and cut on the diagonal once. When you're cutting, you just wanna be really careful that your ruler is right on the tip. You're gonna make 96 B triangles and 96 C triangles. Now we're gonna put our block together. You're gonna to take these strips and you're gonna finger press the very center on the top and the bottom. And then you're gonna take your fabric C triangles and do the same thing. I always do this when I'm doing anything where I've got a bias edge. And you'll see how important it is when we trim our block down. Then you're going to line up your finger presses, pin both sides, press. From here, you're gonna have pressed open and you're gonna wanna press open here because when your blocks meet up, those seams meet. And then we're just gonna cut these dog ears off I do like to use a ruler when I trim off the dog ears. Some people just use scissors. And then from here, you're gonna add your fabric B triangles. Find your center. And here, since you, your seam is right in the center, you don't have to finger press this. You're just gonna put your finger press triangle right on that center seam, pin three times, sew with a quarter inch seam on both sides, and then you're gonna press open. So after you stitch, everything is pressed open on these outer seams and we're gonna trim this down to nine inches. 
and I'm just gonna use a square ruler and on these Creative Grids rulers, they have a dotted line on two sides. I'm gonna use those two sides to trim and I'm just going to align the top hits the point, this hits the point, and we're just going to trim right here. I always like when we do patterns like this because you make the block bigger and then you trim down and when you trim down, you've got a perfect block. And this should measure nine inches square and your block is finished. Now we're ready to put all our beautiful blocks together. First, you're gonna start by making your rows. All of your rows are gonna be placed with your blocks this direction. You're gonna have six blocks per row and you're gonna press all towards the right. You're gonna make eight rows. And then when you lay them out, you're gonna alternate. So this row is flipped and because we press this direction, all of your seams are going to nest throughout. What you're going to want to do when you're sewing these together is you're going to, first I like to put pins where the blocks intersect and you can see these seams are nesting. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my pin in the very point of this block and a pin in the next block, push it down, put a pin on both sides, and then when you sew that quarter inch seam, your points are most likely going to meet. So put your quilt center together and now we're going to add our borders. Add your side borders, press. Add your top and bottom borders and press. We hope you love the Jelly Roll Railway quilt. Make sure to hashtag Jelly Roll Railway and I can't wait to see all of your quilts. And I'll see you next time.